and welcome back to another episode of coffee and stocks we are here we are fresh and we are gonna talk about a brand new ev not really brand new but we're gonna talk about a, another ev spac that is hitting the market and it's gonna go merge with some other company but before we get started can i please ask you guys to smash that like button as well as press that amazing subscribe button because it does go a long way in supporting the channel and i do thank every single one of you guys every single one of the 826 subscribers that i do have you guys are freaking amazing and let's get to it who are we talking about today we are talking about forum merger iii corp or 111 or the third uh, it's probably the third um currently on the ticker symbol of fii um, so definitely keep that in mind currently going for eleven dollars and 45 cents it did drop a little bit around 6.16 percent today um, it did go at a highest of 14 dollars and 60 cents about december 11th last week so definitely 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 pretty cheap stock now who is this company we're gonna get a little bit into it not too too deep because they are fresh and they don't have any uh, income as of yet but electric vehicle company electric last mile inc has agreed to go public via a merger with a special purpose acquisition corporation for a merger the third or iii uh, once the deal closes the combined company will be renamed electric last mile solutions inc and will trade on nasdaq under the ticker symbol elms elms the deal has a pro forma implied equity value of about $1.4 billion and is expected to close in the first quarter of 2021. We are so close to that. $1.4 billion is pretty uh, interesting. It's not bad. Um, but a lot of the EV companies right now has had uh, uh, an equity value super high. So this isn't really like, like the crazy thing that I've seen. But um, the new company is expecting uh, to launch its urban delivery van as the first electric class one commercial vehicle in the U.S. in the third quarter of 2021. So we're about a year off, right? So the company is expected to uh, expect, expecting the vehicle to have the lowest total cost of ownership, which is super important because a lot of the fleet managers do look at this and do look at which uh fleet you know is gonna cost me the less money for my company so this is pretty important to see uh and uh the company has more than 300,000 pre-orders for customers including some of the biggest fleet managers and dealers in the country um so we don't know this because it doesn't have any money as of yet uh forum uh, in august raised 250 million dollars in initial public offering while it has the flexibility to pursue a target in any industry the spac said at the time it intended to focus on companies based in the u.s worth 500 million to 2 million and currently this is worth at about 1.4 billion so let's get a little bit closer into what this is right who is this company uh, what do they do? We're going to go into their um, power presentation, their inventor presentation uh, right now. Uh, obviously, whoever made this video right here is pretty freaking good because I like the way they are portraying themselves. Very clean, very green, uh, class one uh, van vehicles. Everything that they're, that they're showing you is kind of telling you that it has a lot of improving and a lot uh, of, of better the environment all around we we'll look a little bit down here creating a new world of ev possibilities for our customers where new u.s electric vehicle company transporting commercial delivery networks for the e-mobility business of today and tomorrow our technology is designed to deliver the most reliable and most efficient electric last mile solutions combining integrated deep data anal analytics uh, customization and sustainable engineering now a lot of the companies well not a lot but you know last mile solutions has been a target of a lot of ev companies especially a lot of ev specs so this is definitely they're pretty much just telling you right off the bat we are targeting this area right 
here. Uh, obviously designed to be the most reliable and most efficient electric last mile solution. Uh, so I'm not going to go too into this. I will put a, a link down for their website as well as the presentation. But let's go ahead and look into the presentation right now. Um, so EMLs founders is Jason Luo, uh, founder and executive chairman, and James Taylor, founder and CEO. Um, so this guy right here, Jason, former president and CEO, Key Safety Systems. Um, following that, Jason served as a chairman of Ford China. So that's pretty important. He has been a CEO before, so that is pretty important. He knows how to handle things. And this guy right here, James Taylor, uh, he spent more than 30 years at General Motors, serving as the president of Cadillac and CEO of Hummer, former chairman and, C and CEO of Workhorse. So that is pretty interesting to also see. The transaction highlights right here, um, we see the valuation of 1.196 million enterprise value on closing, um, ca uh, capital structure, uh, team expected to have around $379 million of cash to fund operational growth. So that's a pretty good chunk of money, uh, six, around 66.7% of existing shareholders. 17.6% uh, of public shareholders of Forum Merger 3 uh, and 4.8% of merger for uh, around 4.8% more merger sponsors as well. So let's go ahead and, and come down here. Uh, look at this lineup. This lineup is strong, right? So you have Jason with 25 plus years of experience. James with 35 plus, Jerry with 25 plus, Justin with 15. None of these, none of these people on this, you know, table has had less than 15 years of experience with pretty big companies like Ford, Nissan, BMW, uh, Volkswagen. Uh, you know, you have Workhorse, you have Karma down here, you have Hummer, you have Cadillac, you have Accuride. You know, a lot of these people are pretty big big in general right so they know what to do they know what they're doing so right here in the in the investment highlight let me just zoom out just a tiny bit um you we do see significant last mile market opportunity driving explosive demand for delivery vehicles around 1 trillion north american e-commerce market has driven the need for lower cost delivery and fleet efficiency and this company has and wants to target uh, the cost of you know how much it's going to be worth to you and they're trying to lower it every single time now there is no direct class one competitor uh towards elm elms um so that might cause a little bit of problems because then they could just lag as much as they want um and not really you know go forward with you know the targets you know because there is no direct competitor so they won't stand out they won't do more than it's needed just throwing that out there <clears throat> uh short lead time to launch in q3 2021 they do have a plant in indiana retrofitted for the ev production uh vehicle and plant 90 percent ready for u.s production and access to trained workforce of over 400 so that is pretty cool also down here you can't see it but i'll read it to you signed pre-order customers thirty thousand plus pre-orders figures refer to signed pre-orders final purchase orders contingent upon satisfaction satisfaction of customer requirements uh trademarks on this page are the property of the respective companies etc etc so these are strong customer demands and thirty thousand plus pre-orders um of these several companies down here but don't forget every other ev fleet company is also talking to these big corporations and that is the difference between you know them just showing you all these big companies right here it's like oh they all bought you know your 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 cars well not really right there's pre-orders but nothing has been set and done because this company currently has no money well not no money but they have no income as of yet everything is estimate right so 
that's definitely something for you to think about i'm not going to go too into deal detail with this but they only they are the only ev in class one they're the only company in e class one they also have this uh, urban utility uh, in class three but it's not set to be done until 2022 so that is a long way and they are trying to uh to uh go against workhorse and amazon which is rivian uh so that is something pretty important to see everything is estimated right now estimated you know how much they're gonna make and stuff like that i will leave a link down below uh to this presentation as well if you want to look more into detail in this company because obviously i am not a financial advisor so you should always you know do your own research and do your own due diligence before you invest in this company am i gonna invest in this company i yeah you know i might i might get a a, a few uh shares uh but not go too crazy because i don't know this company too well and they don't have any uh for sure income so that is pretty tough for me to uh do a a, a a call directly because obviously i've uh invested in other companies like workhorse who don't have um an estimated find that you know they don't have revenue coming in so that is pretty tough for me to invest in multiple companies who don't have revenue coming in so definitely look into that just like you see right now everything is estimated obviously in 2020 they have zero in 2021 they're gonna have a, around 122 million so and obviously from there if everything goes well it's just gonna increase dramatically definitely keep this in your in, in your watch list because it is something pretty pretty uh nice to see that they are trying to focus on class one um and they are expected to create a lot of uh revenue coming in but till then keep an eye on this company so that was today's video hopefully you guys liked it fiii for a merger definitely going into a merger with elms which is an electric last mile uh, service vehicle um so last mile solution sorry uh so definitely you know keep that in your watch list if you like this video please drop a like on it as well as press that amazing subscribe button and i will be doing another giveaway once we reach the 900 subscribers you guys are amazing let's keep going 826 we are almost there so we'll see you guys next time on coffee and stocks